with tone production, <laughs> it's very interesting because uh, what is happening is somehow we lose this sense of uh, natural touching of the key. Basically, um, it's about how to gently, with lots of love, yes, <laughs> touch the keys while playing. And how to let go any tension after pressing the key and let our hand uh, simply rest on the key without holding any tension. And um, surprisingly, even if the pianist, and I'm telling you this, I, I'm really serious about this. People who got even doctor degree, master degree in piano playing, they don't get it in the first time, in the second time, in the hundredth time, I'm telling them. Because they can't believe that the sensation of relaxed hand that I'm talking about is at that degree. So when I'm saying playing with relaxed hands or coming to the keyboard with relaxed hands, I mean it's really, really, absolutely weak, empty, light hands that basically wouldn't be able to play anything at all unless you have something in your mind. So it's very interesting that um, when I'm asking someone, my student, to play with a relaxed hand, he would still tense the hands at some degree to be able to make whatever he wants to make. So when I'm saying no, completely relaxed, any tension out, then basically what he would left out with is playing nothing, like barely even pressing the key. And that's exactly the sensation I'm talking about. It's absolutely weak play. Now here one would realize that, well, if I'm not using any tension in my hand, I cannot play anything. But the point is, when you play this way, you will be able to play with healthy tension, like I said in the beginning, by imagining notes and singing in between notes and using weight of your body. So, if the student is asked to just, okay, now play with this kind of hand, you know, he is like in a situation where, you know, he, there is nothing to hide uh, behind with. Because before, to be able to play, he would contract his body. Now he cannot, and now he cannot play at all. So it shows that he has nothing in his mind at all. <laughs> That's why there is on the keyboard nothing. Um, so basically, um, with these hands that can barely press the key. This is how I play Concerto by Rachmaninoff. <laughs> this is how you can play anything you want with this sensation in your hand. Now, let me just uh, say something else. Of course, when you play, you have to tense something. And uh, you're gonna tense your fingertips, they will become cleaning. You're gonna have singing wrist, flexible wrist. Um, you're gonna have developed um, muscles of your fingers and the freedom of your whole body. If you have this in the right amount while playing, then your hand can rest also on the keyboard while playing. And here we go again. Um, I'm, t I'm talking about this, I think, all, almost all the time. So if someone would, if one is asked to, you know, feel all of this, hey, feel your cleaning fingertip, you know, just clean to the keyboard with your fingertip and relax your hands. Okay. 
you know, feel the freedom of your body. So even if you try to copy someone, if someone would present you the best example of playing with all this kind of sensation, you will not get the same sensation because whatever looks the same from outside can have some different sensations inside. And the way to control the inner sensations is through imagination and singing. <laughs> so, um, basically, you develop all these points, fingertips, wrist, finger muscles, freedom of the body, to be able to play everything you want, control everything you want, playing with relaxed hands, through imagination and internal singing. And now I have to also add a very important thing. <laughs> Uh, and let me tell you my story, <laughs> because, uh, well, what, how old I was, I think I was 26, so quite a long time ago, how is it, eight years ago, uh, seven, um, I found myself hitting the wall, because I knew I was completely sure that imagination and singing helps me to play everything I want. But for some reason, when I would play, the piano wouldn't respond to that. I would feel that nothing goes into that. And then what happened is, of course, people would tell me you need to play with relaxed hands. Okay, okay sure. I, I mean, not all the time I heard that, but I mean, that's not a new con concept for me. But then I was, I was having a dream where I was playing and I had like huge, huge hands and I was playing some octaves. And you know this moment when you wake up right in the right time so you can recall all the sensations from your dream. So I woke up and I was like, oh man, so this is how it feels while playing on the piano. Th to this degree, my hands were relaxed while playing these huge octaves. So I came to the piano, right in my pajama, I sat and I started touching the key with the same sensation and that was like a revelation for me because I realized I never played with relaxed hands even though I, I thought I played. And that was the key. So to imagine and sing while playing is one thing, but if your hands are not resting on the key, if you keep pressing the key after you already touch it, then you could never transfer all this energy to the instrument. And I, even last year I made this uh, video about um, Cla Claudio Arau talking about relaxed hands, where I was again, you know, taking a side because he was telling basically the same. He was telling well, you imagine you gotta feel, but if you feel that you know this is all tight and tense, then all your intentions will never reach the piano. I was like, yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. So um, you have to imagine, you have to sing. That will let you find correct sensations in your fingertips, wrist, finger muscles, your whole body, but yet you have to allow this energy reach the instrument by keeping your hands at rest on the keys. We're talking about uh, developing cleaning sensation on fingertips and I said that you can imagine this, you can develop this through imagination. Now let me tell you one thing, after that dream, <laughs> and after I completely start playing with relaxed hands, really relaxed hands, it took me around half a year, I'm not exaggerating, to start uh, to, uh, to let this uh, cleaning sensation appear on all of my fingers. I even remember how it started. It started like right hand first with the like third and second finger, then left hand joined, then it was on the fourth and fifth finger, then it was on the thumb of my left hand, and the last one was the thumb on my right hand. Actually, I think 
the thumb on my right hand appeared even after one or two years after that brain. So that's just, I'm saying, not a thing that appears overnight. You know, oh, okay, you know, I imagine I'm singing, I'm playing with relaxed hands. Um, but you need time. Even for some <laughs> amazing advices, you still need time. I guess for the physical process, I don't know. So keep that in mind. You know, when I, um, I had a student, she couldn't get this feeling. And she, she has master's degree already. She couldn't get this feeling for m many lessons, I think almost a month, maybe over a month. And I told her about my dream and she was like, I wish I could have your dream, <laughs> you know, to get it. Because it's really hard because uh, really, if you never had the sensation, then, you know, whatever person mean and feel when he's saying relaxed hands, you would only understand it as uh, at, at your ability to feel it. So if you never really feel relaxed hands, you could never understand. The person can tell you a hundred times, relax, more relax, more relax, and you will still don't know. But I think at the same time, uh, we kind of all know the sensation. It's just we never thought that with this sensation we're able to play. Like I said, like, you know, this kind of sensation where you just come to the keyboard and when you press the key, sometimes the key wouldn't even press. This is kind of sensation that I'm playing with. But we, of course, we never thought of using it because of course we never imagine, of course we never intonate. And uh, of course we knew it, it doesn't work to play this way. <laughs> but that's the way, that's how I felt. And turn out to be really gate to all my final, uh, to all to all my discoveries. Like if I play the same next year with the sensation, look. If I don't have anything in my mind, I don't have anything in my mind, nothing. This is what I get. Look, I don't even, I'm not even able to produce a sound. So of course the normal person would say, Emma Newman, why are you teaching? But the person who knows what I'm really teaching, he knows that as soon as I start imagining something in my mind, oh, 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 you see, now my fingertips are activating. As soon as I start internally seeing my, now my muscles in my fingers preparing. And here we go, we're able to play. I have absolutely the same sensation in my hand. Thank you.